guys! So today is January 2nd and I promised you guys a video. So today I'm going to be talking about my New Year's resolutions. So to start off, my resolutions aren't exactly things that I need to achieve by the end of the year. It's just things that I need to be more mindful of and things that I, I want to do even though they aren't actual tangible things that you could like, here, here, this is what I did type of thing. So yeah, these are my six New Year's resolutions. Number one, be more positive. I am not a very positive person. I'm very, very sarcastic, very snarky, and generally have a realistic but to a more negative side approach to life. And I do not like it. It's not something that I'm very happy with. Like, I just generally end up feeling down because of this. And I just want to try and see things to a more positive light mo most of the time because that would really really help out in a lot of cases and a lot of things that I've dealt with over the years. Number two, this is the only thing that's like an actual tangible thing that I want to do. Basically what ended up happening is during the winter break my mom got me into knitting. So I am starting to make a sweater. <laughs> Uh, you can't really see, but it's going to be a two-colored sweater. It's going to be black and red, and I just started knitting it. There's a couple of mistakes and imperfections, but I really want to finish making it and actually wear it at least once before the end of the year, because I am really, really proud of how much I've done so far, and yeah, it's going to be cool. <laughs> On a side note, I've actually tried to start knitting several times in the past couple of years, and I've never actually finished anything. So if I could finish this during this year, I'd be very, very happy, and it would be really, really cool to make something like that, especially with the help of my mom. Number three, eat more healthy foods. I'm not talking about going on like this crash diet or anything like that. All I want to do is eat more healthy things and less junk food, basically. And generally what ends up happening is my mom cooks a lot of amazing healthy foods and I kind of skip out and have chocolate instead. So what I want to do is eat healthy, make milkshakes, smoothies, just have grapes or whatever as snacks instead of junk food, and cut down on my junk food consumption in general. Number four, go outside more. My mom and my grandma always go on walks every single day, just short walks, 20 minute walks, and generally I'm far too busy and stressed with school, and friends, and work, and I do not go outside with them. It is not a good thing, I do not get a lot of exercise, and I think it'd be really really cool to go at least three or four times a week out with them for a walk. I kind of want to do this so I can spend some more time with them, and yeah, it'd be nice to go outside more. Number five, spend more time with family. <laughs> this kind of ties in with number four, going on the walks with them. I spend a lot of time holed up in my room. This is kind of my area, and I like staying in it because it's comfortable. But in the next couple of months, I am going to be applying for universities. That's what I'm doing now. I'm going to be moving to British Columbia, and I'm going to be living with my sister, her fiancé, my brother, and they're all going to be there. So I kind of, within the next year, I want to spend some more time with them and actually get to know them a lot better than how I know now because only time I get to talk to them is through the phone or through Facebook. And I also want to spend some more time with my mom and my grandma, who I'm currently living with, and just be nicer and have better relationships with them. And finally, number six, make the best out of every occasion. As I've mentioned before, I am going to be moving to British Columbia, st starting over there with the only people I know being my family. I am terrified, but also really, really excited, and, and this whole experience is going to be huge. Even when there are times when things aren't really working out, I really want to make the best of every single experience and just make it a good year. So yeah, these are my six New Year's resolutions, and who knows, but maybe by the end of this year I'm going to make a video talking about whether or not I actually completed these resolutions. So, bye!